Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And one of the key things that we've got to do is we've got to break down the gun controller's moves because we've got new ones coming from the Biden administration. This is a brand new rule. I hit it in a live earlier today, right when it dropped. They are utilizing the rule through the executive bureaucracies to make the ATF and the DOJ change the definition of what is a gun dealer. And believe me, you're going to be surprised when you see what they're qualifying as a gun dealer. Everything will be linked in the description box below. I could not find the Federal Register for comment yet. Um, I, it was not on there, but it will be there as soon as I can find it. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on. We are trying to distribute freedom twice daily, and we would love for you to join along in that quest. And this content is brought to you by Atlas VPN. Our sponsor today is Atlas VPN. And if you guys are like me, I don't like any type of infringement on my rights, but also on my data privacy online. And that's where Atlas VPN can come in. This is something that 6 million people worldwide have taken advantage of, and you can as well with this special offer. Grab the summer deal because now Atlas VPN Premium is just $183 per month and you get three months extra. They have a 30-day money-back guarantee. Protect your privacy and get many benefits with Atlas VPN for the low price of $183 per month. You can grab this deal by clicking the link in the video description below and these are the few of the things that you can gather from that subscription. You can get the best VPN support on the market. You can unlock your favorite content from all over the world. You can keep your Google searches in private, which is a big deal around that privacy piece. You can stop ads and malware. You can save some coins while shopping online through special deals that are available in different areas of the world. And you can protect unlimited amount of devices. Now again, make sure that you grab that summer deal because Atlas VPN Premium is just $183 per month and there's a 30-day back money guarantee. There's a uh, link in the description box below and thank you so much to Atlas VPN to making this content possible. All right, so thank you to Atlas for making this possible. But my brothers and sisters, we've got to dive into the newest announcement on gun control from the Biden administration. We knew this was coming earlier this month. Moms Man Action leaked it out. It was going to happen soon. They actually said it was going to happen after Labor Day. But here we are. Before Labor Day, they pushed it through. And we have got some definitions. And I've highlighted some things that I want to show you. And please send this out because this is broader than just if you sell a gun to your neighbor or your family member. There are some things in here that, impl that apply to Internet sites and internet sales and all sorts of stuff. Check this out. So this is from the fact sheet. Biden-Harris administration takes another life-saving step to keep guns out of dangerous hands. Some whitehouse.gov, so expect it to be flowery propaganda. Anyway, I'm going to show you within this propaganda what they're saying and how it lays out, and I've got some stuff you got to see here. In March, President Biden signed an executive order directing the Attorney General to move as close as uni to universal background checks as possible within existing law. Today, as a result of the executive order in the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act, the Department of Justice is taking life-saving action to reduce the number of guns sold without background checks and keep guns out of the hands of criminals by redefining terms again, utilizing the bureaucratic state to make law outside of the purview of Congress. They've done this for two and a half years. They're going to continue doing it. This is clearly their status that they're going to operate under. But let's continue. I want to show you how this impacts you. So some more puffing and pounding their chest. Thank you, John Cornyn, Republican from Texas, who enabled this. Real clear on that. Last year, Congress passed and President Biden signed into law bipartisan legislation to help address this dangerous problem by modifying the definition of who has to become a federal licensed firearm dealer. Many of Congress, both Democrat and Republicans, made clear that they intended for the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act to better protect the American people from gun violence by clarifying when someone is supposed to become a licensed firearm dealer. Again, that's the backstory. John Cornyn, Republican trader, made this happen. He was the one that drove the entire deal and brought us the crap sandwich that, Republic, or that the Democrats have been leveraging with brutal efficiency from the White House, the Senate Safer Communities Act. That's where this came from, so that fault falls right on John Cornyn's door. May his legacy forever be betrayal. And, uh, spicy enough? Let's continue, because this is where the underlining starts, because there's some very important things in here. Now, this is going into basically where they're pulling the authority from and all that, but the underlying high point I want to bring to your attention. The proposed rule includes a number of other situations where, in civil and administrative proceedings and absent reliable evidence to the contrary, it will be presumed that you need a license. Two things here. One, you are now guilty of being a gun dealer unless you prove that you aren't a gun dealer. So innocent until proven guilty, 
that's out the window. You are now guilty until you prove yourself in- innocent, which falls right in line with red flag laws they've been pushing because due process is out the window. It's so not in vogue. Why do that when you can have an executive overbearing bureaucratic state? That's the first thing. Now the second thing that really gets me here. Civil and administrative proceedings. That sounds like the lawsuit game that every town for gun safety, Moms Man Action, and um, Giffords.org have been pitching, and Brady. That sounds like all the major gun control groups who have been pushing legislative action, or not legislative, uh, litigious action against manufacturers and gun dealers and sellers. That sounds kind of like you're opening the door to make them victims of a lawsuit campaign, doesn't it? Civil and administrative. We're going to see that again. And that's just the first thing I've got highlighted here. Now... Let me walk you through what actually requires or what your new prerequisites are to be a gun dealer. Here's the bullet points that they provided. Whitehouse.gov linked right down there. All right. So, for example, under the proposed rule, a person will be presumed to be required to become a licensed dealer and run background checks if they meet one or more of the following criteria. Offer for sale any number of firearms and also represents to potential buyers that they are willing and able to purchase and sell them additional firearms repetitively offer for sale firearms within 30 days after they were purchased. So now you cannot sell a gun within 30 days or you are a reseller. You don't like something and you want to get something else, you're now a reseller. Continue. (sighs) Repetitively offer for sale firearms that are like new in their original packaging. So anybody among you, all anybody, my brothers and sisters, watching this clip right now, if you buy a gun and you keep it in the box, like family members of mine have done because they were a little intimidated by it when they first bought it, um, you're now a gun dealer if you sell that. Oh, it looks like it's mint condition. It's still in the original box. Ooh, yeah, you're a gun dealer. FFL licensing, background checks required. That's the level of stupidity that we're dealing with. Now, this is the proposed rule. This isn't even the final one yet. But this is what they're proposing. Let's continue here. Repetitively offer for sale multiple firearms of the same make and model. So if you have a huge crush on, I don't know, Glock 17, and you're consistently selling Glock 17s over several years because you like the newer models when they come out with new generations, yeah, gun dealer. That's how dumb this is. They are reclassifying known definitions of what is a dealer and what is not, and they are laying out the criteria right here for us all to see. Now, this next one that I'm going to hit, I didn't like that last one. The last one's just about guns hold, gun show loophole. But... I want to get to this red underlined part because this is very, very important right here. The proposed rule would also clarify that for civil or administrative actions, an individual will be presumed to have the intent to predominantly earn a profit. One of the elements of engaging in the business of dealing firearms if the person engages in activities such as, and I'll show you in a second, but you're, you're presumed to have the intent to be a gun dealer if you make $1 profit. It, yeah, it's just, yeah, you're doing it. it. You're guilty. That's what that says. You're presumed guilty until you prove innocent. Is it just me or there going to be a lot of gun sales at a loss? Just saying. But let me show you some other things that are indicative that you are a problem. And then the biggest one is hidden at the end here. Creating a website or making business cards to advertise or market a firearm business. Maintaining records to document and track profits and losses from firearm purchases or sales. So you better not use Excel. Purchasing business insurance or renting space at a gun show. Okay, whatever. This last part. If you hear nothing, hear this. That include at a gun show or over the internet. Over the internet. There are sites, multiple sites, websites if you will, that offer a connection. That's their main point. The main existence for them is to connect people with buyers with sellers. And they don't have anything to do with the actual transfer of firearms. But they facilitate communication. How do you think they're going to fare in this? You can name the websites. You know, I know you know them. How do you think they're going to come out in this? Because the Biden administration just put a target on their back. While you're at it, try to look up some of the well-known YouTube channels that have done this that are tied to these sites. They got nuked last month. Coincidence? I think not. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and please send this one out everywhere, and I will see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.